Hey guys, so as promised, I told you that I would get on here and I would show you the steps on how I created that Google form. Um, so this is your Google, This you just go into your Gmail. Um, what I always do is I always go into, I do the tic-tac-toe board, that's what I call that right there. And then I go to my drive. And then over here on the left, you're gonna go to new and you're gonna go to forms. And that's going to pull up the Google form. Now, remember when we talked, we said that we wanted to um, have a customized theme. Um, so we're going to actually choose an image. When you choose an image, you can go into Canva, um, create that image. What I used was a YouTube um, thumbnail or a YouTube um, cover photo is sometimes what it calls. Basically, you want a landscape photo. You don't want a portrait, you want landscape. Um, and you're gonna wanna put everything kind of like in the middle or just in one area. And you'll see why in just a minute. So when we did this um, and know when you download, you wanna download it as a PNG. So right here was the one that we used. Um, and you'll notice when it pops up that it only shows a certain amount of space. Now I do not want to lose her face. So I could do two things. I can move this up here, okay, where I actually get her face, but now I'm not getting her name. So I'm going to go back into Canva. I'm going to bring this up where this real estate is in line with her head. Then I'm going to download it again, and now everything's going to be there, okay? But we're just going to pretend like I already did that, okay? So we're going to click done, and what it's going to do is it's going to add that image to the top, and then it's also going to customize the theme. So it's going to change the, um, the colors. So that way you can see everything and it's all just, it's gonna blend it well, so it's nice. Now, right now this is an untitled form. So you can either change the type up here and notice that when you change this, so you can say review my service. If I click here, now that's right there. Okay, so whatever description I give it or whatever I name it here, that's also gonna be the name of the file. Right here for the form description, I would type something in there. Like I would say, you know, thank you so much for being willing to, um, you know, write a, um, a review on my services of how I did as an agent or whatever it is. Okay. So you're going to ask them things. Now, right here, you have questions. The first question I want to know is I want to know their name and I want to know their email. Okay. Now notice I didn't touch anything and it Google automatically will populate that this is a short answer type question. Now it's not required. I want this to be a required question. I'm gonna go ahead and close down this theme. I want this to be a required question. And the reason is, is because if they write a wonderful review, I wanna be able to put that on things and I wanna be able to add their name, okay? So I'm gonna put that on there. Then I'm gonna add another question. So here's my next question. And my question may be, um, um, how did we work together? Okay, that's a multiple, well, I did it as a paragraph. So now I'm gonna click here and I want this to be a multiple choice. So then I might say um, a buyer's agent, a listing agent, and then I can click this word right here that says other, and it's gonna say other. Now I want this to be required. Now you may say, well, why did you add other? The reason is I'm gonna be sending this to everyone in my sphere of influence. Okay, I'm gonna send it to every single person who's in my KV4. So when I send this, they, I may not have worked with them yet, okay? Now, what is important, you need to think to yourself, what are important character traits to a real estate agent, okay? A level of professionalism, um, punctuality, uh, um, maybe organizational skills. I don't know if they would really know if you were organized or not, unless they like sat in your office. Um, but you need to think, what are some skills that other people also would appreciate in a real estate agent? Um, Answering your phone, that's a main thing. Guys, you could probably call 10 real estate agents and maybe two of them would answer their phone right off the bat, okay? Now, I get it. Everyone has work to do. Everyone's busy, busy, busy. I totally get it, okay? But do those people have like an automatic thing that goes that says, hey, I'm with a client. Um, can I call you back in 10 minutes or can I call you back in just a minute, okay? That's super easy to do, okay? You just put it on your phone as that's the predictive text that goes out. So that way you can send that out to somebody else. All right, so let's go ahead and check this out. What are some other questions that I might add? Um, so one of them might be um, on a scale of one to five, whoops, one to five, how would you rate my level of professionalism? Okay, now look, it's already doing it a linear scale. Okay, so it's gonna do one 
to, uh, that's not supposed to be six, it's supposed to be five. So if it changes, just go ahead and do that. So what is one? This is not professional, okay? And this is very professional. Okay, so I'm gonna make that as a required, okay? Or maybe I don't, it's totally up to you. Just know that anything that is required, they have to answer that question in order to submit the document. Um, if it is unrequired, they can bypass it or they can answer it. So it's just, it's total up to choice. The only one that I make sure that is absolutely required is this one right here. And the reason why is because I wanna make sure that I have their name. You'll also notice that since these are both required, they have a red star. So if I make this not required, when I go to the next one, notice no red star, so not required. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a whole bunch of questions, maybe just like, mm, I don't know, four, four or five, no more. I wanna make it very easy for them, okay? I want this to be something that they can click, click, click because more data, the more data that you have, the more information you get, um, the better off you're gonna be, okay? So once I have completed everything, Okay, I'm going to click this little eyeball and what it's going to do is it's going to let me see what this will look like um, to someone who is actually um, taking this quiz or someone who's actually giving me some information. Okay, now, how am I going to share it? You're going to click this send button. Now on here, it allows you to send um, it right here from your email, but we're not going to do that because we're going to use our KB Core to send this out, just like I showed in the class. So if you click this link button, hit the shorten URL, and now here's a shorten URL. I can add that link to emails. I can send them in a text message. Um, I can put it as a um, on a landing page as the URL, and then the submit button text on the landing page says, review me now. Okay, and when they click on it, it's gonna take them right here. All right, this is a super, super easy um, thing to do. Now, I want to show you something. When, now, how are you gonna get the results, right? How are you gonna get the results? So you're in your drive. Okay, and I'm actually gonna go to, um, uh, let's see, I'm gonna pull up another, um, actually I'm gonna do this, file type forms. Okay. All right, so, um, all right, so these are some of the different forms that I have created. So let's go ahead and actually I wanna do, I want to do a class review, but I can't remember. Maybe I named it class review. There it is. Okay. So you've created um, your form. Okay. So when you want to see what people are saying, and this was one that I did for us, notice, um, yeah, my image. You can't even see our picture. You kind of see like our stomachs maybe, <laughs> but it, it was about our um, Facebook neighborhood group. Um, so I, again, Here's the title of it. It went ahead and changed everything. Here's my little bit of information. Here's the few questions that they had to answer and that was it, okay? Now, if I wanna see what people are saying, I click this response button. In the response button, what it's gonna do is it's gonna give me a summary. So it's gonna say, okay, this is what everyone said. So everyone who attended ours were agents or they were brokers. Here's their emails. Um, do you currently use Facebook to generate in the neighborhood? The majority of them were no. If you do currently use Facebook to generate business, um, did you um, did this course give you a new approach? Yes, every single person. Guys, if every single person who attends and answers says yes, that's a great thing. What that means is 100% of the people who are reviewing you are agreeing that you're giving them good content. Do you feel like the time was well spent? Yes. Um, do you have any other questions? No, not now. Okay, but then when your neighborhood has groups, mine has a few, what should you do? So now this person had one question. So how do I see who that was? I'm gonna go to the individual question. And that question was, do you have any questions? Which was right here. Um, and it says response. That was response number four. So I'm gonna pull it up. And now I have their information. Now I can reach out to this person specifically um, and see what's going on, okay? So that is how you are going to use your Google Forms in order to get reviews. Um, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. Um, if you're not already um, a member of my KV Core elite Facebook group, go ahead and jump over there. And if you're not following me on Instagram, you need to do that as well. And I'm Jackie Durbin. A-Z. 
All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.